Hello Shira, welcome back to Deepakas Forex, we'll be giving you our weekly Forex forecast. Before watching this video, you need to keep in mind that this is only forecast, these are not signals. On this video, we cover only forecast. Forecast is very important, it helps you have a projection of where the market is going, how far the market will go, how fast the market will go, and so on. But focus is not the only thing you need to be able to be a profitable trader. There's other factors that come into play, factors like risk management, factors like entry, when to enter exactly, trade management and psychology. All those add up to give you a good strategy. But on this video, we only cover focus to help you have a projection of where the market is going. So for you to be able to trade the setups properly, you need to keep in mind all of the stated aspects. Do not just jump into any trade just because we focused on an up move or a down move. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. We are still keeping a close eye on GBPCHF. Remember GBPCHF, we've been waiting for it to complete its movement. Then that's when we'll be looking for, for the bigger sell. The bigger sell is expected to move 500 pips. So we've been waiting for it. This next week, there's a likely chance to get a corrective structure like that. Then a down move all the way to reach to this point here. Right now, also, there's also a chance that we might get a corrective structure here, then move up to this point. Then from here, we might be moving down. There's, there's a couple of possibilities that can happen. We also can move sharp like that to this point. Then we get this down move all the way up to this point. So from here, you can either wait for this setup to reach to this point. Then you look for an entry or wait for this corrective structure. Then look for an entry. Then be able to sell all the way down to this point. Whatever happens, you need to be able to have your confirmation to be able to know when it's ready. So for GBPCHF for us, we'll be taking only sell positions. Any continuation up, bringing this previous high all the way up, we will not be taking it. We'll ignore it if it decides to do that because we're only expecting a sell setup because our structure is showing us only sell opportunities. For GBPCHF, our bias is down only a down move gbp usd for gbp usd we're expecting a down move we're expecting a down move to reach this point that's what we're expecting because structure is showing that there's an expected down move now a lot of you have been against our focus on the comment section this past weeks that we're saying that gbp usd is going down stating your your reasons well for us we're expecting a down move simply because of our our strategy how we focused the strategy we focused shows that it's expecting a down move now if you look at this moment here from this point gbp usd gave this up move this impulse move was focused you just feel free to go back on our previous videos and just check that we focus on this impulse move then we focus on this correction and it happened just like that we focus on this impulse move and then we focus on this corrective structure then from this point, we're focused that after this corrective structure is completed, from this point, we'll be looking forward for an up move. An up move, and then that up move we're expecting to complete up to this point. Then it kept continuing up. Then from this very point here, we started to focus this down move. We said that we're expecting a big down move again. Just as we've been following it through, we've been following it just like that. We've been following it step by step. Then from this point, we expected this down move. And after we expected this down move, price kept moving sideways then we released an update we said that we're expecting what one more up then after that up move is completed that's when we'll be looking for for a down move that's what we said we say we'll be looking for for an, a down move when structure is completed so if gbp usd decides to continue up we will simply ignore it for a moment then wait for it to complete structure now gbp usd if it's completed we'll be looking for for our entry to confirm the sell as of now we are expecting to just get a corrective structure like this then a down move like that we'll be monitoring it and we'll be been giving you updates on a weekly basis on what's next from here we are expecting a corrective structure here then a down move or we might get an impulse like that then a down move it's also possible that might happen but for now we're waiting for a correction like that then a down move so this does not give you a guarantee to just jump in as soon as the market opens for us we can focus this pair but it does not mean that we jump into the market immediately the market opens we wait for our confirmation then that's when we can sell all the way down gbp jpy for gbp jpy if you're new to our channel we've been focused on this movements 
this big movements we've been focusing them this big movements we've been focusing them up to this point from this point on gbpjpy we say that two things can happen we say we might get a sharp movement like this towards this point or we say that there's another chance that we might get an impulse move up like that then a down move we said all that in our previous videos and as you can see we got that impulse move up which means that from here we'll be looking forward to getting a corrective structure after we get this corrective structure there's a likely chance that we will be getting that big down move all the way down to this point if gbp jpy decides to give an impulse move like this because there's always a chance to get a move against our focus if gbp jpy gives a sharp move like this we'll simply ignore that up move then still look for our sell setups but if you see an up move like this and you feel you can trade it you can go for it but for us we prefer waiting for bigger movements because they give us better risk to reward and um, we can be able to make more from big movements like this so if we get an up move like this we'll simply ignore it then wait for this opportunity to trade the bigger movement that's what we're expecting for gbp jpy only our sell setup is expected gbp aud for gbp aud we've been focusing a movement from this point we focused at a big up move like that to reach this point that's what we focused at on gbp aud and up move like this and we got this impulse move now we're getting a corrective structure if you manage to get an entry here you can shift your stop loss to break even or if you manage to get an entry either from here you can still shift your stop loss to, to break even because there's a likely chance that we might get this down move and if we get this down move and you manage to get an entry here it's going to take you out then you'll be able to look for another second entry all the way up to this point just make sure that you are safe your stop loss is at break even just in case this setup decides to move all the way down to this point because there's a possibility to move all the way down to this point if it moves all the way down to this point you'll be taken out at break even then we'll still look for a second entry all the way up to reach this level here that's what we have for gp aud we're expecting an up move that's our bias even though we might get a pullback like that we're still expecting this big up move and if it shoots down like this we'll still be looking forward for an entry to buy all the way up because that's what structures show structures showing that there's a possibility to get a big up move gbp nzd we've been talking about this pullback we've been talking about this pullback but our main bias from this point is an up move all the way up to this point here then we see that this pullback is expected and if it comes through you will be able to get an entry if you missed an entry from this point so this next week there's a likely chance to get a correction here then one last down move to this point then from here you'll be looking for for an entry to buy you'll be looking for for an entry to buy note that also there's also a chance that from here we could get an up move like that there's a possibility that we could get an up move like that so as the week unfolds you can use whatever entry whatever you use uh, to confirm your entry setups then you can assess it if it to move up from here or either from here you might get an entry from here that's for gbp nzd however our main bias is to the upside we're expecting an up move to continue all the way up to reach this point here that's for gbp nzd usd jpy for usd jpy we still have our bias as up we still have our bias as up from here we've been talking about an up move and we're still expecting that up move from this point here we've been talking about this corrective structure and this next week we might get a down move like this to slightly break this previous low just slightly break that previous low then from here we might be pushing up up all the way up to this point also there's a possibility that we might get a sharp down move like this slightly breaking this previous low slightly breaking this previous low maybe by 30 pips or 20 pips then we might get that up move like this all the way up so we will be looking for, for an entry either from here or from here if we confirm our entry we'll be going up with the movement or from here we'll be going up with that movement so we'll be waiting for the week to unfold and see if we can get an entry then if we get an entry confirmed we'll be going up with that movement that's for usd jpy we will only be looking forward to trading the up move any down move here we will not be taking it we will not be taking it because it's small we'll be only waiting for the bigger up move because it would give us better risk to reward usd chf 
for USD Asia from this point, we've been talking about an up move like this, a big up move. We've been talking about a big up move. And as the movement was unfolding this past weeks, we realized that there's also a possibility that we might head all the way up to this point, the highest. Highest, we might be heading all the way up to this point. So if you are trading this movement up, just be careful when price gets to this point. Because from this point, we might be pushing down. We might be pushing down. For USD CHF, our bias for now is still up, either from this point. But from this point, we'll be assessing it and looking at price and seeing if there's a possibility we might continue up. If there's a possibility we might continue up, then we'll hold on to USD CHF. And then if uh, it shows that we'll be pushing down, then we'll close it immediately from this point. That's USD CHF. If you're trading the setup from here just or from here, just make sure that your setup is on break even. Make sure that your setup is on break even. If you just entered recently here, just wait because there's a possibility that we might get a corrective structure here, then up move all the way up to this point. Then from here, this is when you can close or you can just shift your stop loss to break even or to profits. Then just wait and see what happens next. That's for USD CHF. Euro NZD. Euro NZD from this point, we've been focusing a big up move like that. A big up move we've been focusing that big up move and as you can see we got this up move all the way up to this point then from here we see that there's a possibility to get a down move like that as you can see price has given a down move this past week we say that there's a possibility to get a correction here then one last down as you can see that's exactly what we got then from here we got this impulse up next week there's a possibility we might get a correction here like this then continuation up like that to break this previous high that's a possibility and also there's also a likely chance that we might get a bigger correction here like this then head down there's a possibility all those might happen and this next week we are looking forward uh, to getting this correction here then we can trade this up any down move here will simply ignore because our bias has been up from this point we've been focusing this up move from this point so from this point if we confirm an entry from this point here we can go for that second entry all the way up to this point here that's for euro nzd our bias is still up our bias is still up all the way to this point if we get this setup continuing down we'll simply ignore this movement for now and concentrate on other setups euro chf euro chf Euro CHF, if you've been following our channel, you know that we've been forecasting this down move here like this. And we see that this down move, we will not trade it. We will not trade this down move. We'll only wait for it to confirm our buy like this. And we see that this buy will be heading all the way up to this point. And as you can see, we did not get this confirmation for our buy. So we simply didn't take this up move here. We didn't trade it. Now, from this point, we got this up move like this. And from this point, we got a down move. This structure, what is showing? It's showing that we're likely to get a corrective structure here like this, then a down move. That's possible. A down move like this to slightly break this previous low here. Slightly break this previous low. Then from here, we'll be taking this bigger buy. We'll be taking this bigger buy here to break this previous high. That's a structure that we are seeing on Euro C shaft. So uh, from here, if we get our entry good here, if we get our entry good here, we can be trading this small down move then wait for this buy here then we can take that buy to break this previous low here that's what we are seeing for euro chf as of now this small down move here and this bigger up move to break this previous high this is euro gbp for euro gbp there's a possibility we might get an up move then a down move that's what we're seeing for now so from this up move here we might not take it we might only use it to confirm our sell opportunity here. So we'll wait for this up move to complete its movement. Then from here, we'll be looking forward for a sell. Why are we not taking this buy? Because there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of risk with this buy. It's not yet clear, that much clear. So we'll only wait for it to complete. Then if it completes, if it gets to this point, this is where we'll be taking this bigger sell all the way up to this level here. On this chart, we have Euro CAD. Euro CAD from this point, we've been saying that we're, we are expecting an up move like this. We're expecting an up move. Why? Because of structure. This structure is still standing. It's still showing that there's an expected up move like this. 
there's an expected up move it's still showing that there's an expected up move if we get our entry confirmed this next week we'll look for our entry then we can buy all the way up to this point that's for euro cd if euro cd decides to continue down this next week like this decides to continue down without confirming our entry we'll simply ignore it because the market can always move down if it wants or it can always move up but we are looking for this up move because there's a high chance of us getting this up move all the way up to this point there's a higher chance of getting this up move more than getting this down move so if this down move comes we will ignore it but if this up move comes we'll look for an entry that's for euro cad usd cad for usd cad we're expecting a big up move we're expecting this big up move we've been talking about it and as you can see we are still waiting for that big up move it has not happened yet but we're still expecting it if there's any change of structure we'll be updating you on a weekly basis as we usually do but for now the structure is still showing that there's an expected up move even if this movement can move down to slightly break this previous low we will still be looking forward for an entry up if we get our entry confirmed we'll still be looking forward for an entry so if you have your way of confirming if this trade is ready if you have your way of confirming if this trade is ready you can uh, wait for this movement to continue down then still look for an entry to buy all the way up to this point because structure is showing that we are expecting a big up move all the way up to this level here this is gbp cad for gbp cad there's a possibility we might get a down move here like this there's a possibility we might get a down move to reach this point after getting this down move to reach this point there's an up move which is expected if we get this down move we'll be confirming our buy from here we'll be taking a buy all the way up to this point this buy will slightly break this previous high so we'll wait for this down move to complete and we will not take this down move we'll only use it to confirm this up move all the way up to this point thus for gbp cad our bias is up but only from this point any up move from this point will simply ignore it we'll only be waiting for this down move to push down like this all the way up to this point then this is where we can be taking our buy euro usd euro usd we're expecting this down move to slightly break this previous low here if we get this down move to this point we will get this bigger up move to this point here and this bigger up move has a possibility to break this previous high here if it does that all the way up like that we wait for it to complete then from this point we'll be looking forward for a bigger sell all this movements this down movement and then this this movement up we'll just ignore this movements then focus on the bigger sell for now we can be focusing on other setups which are giving good entries and then put usd aside for now then later we can be looking forward to trading this bigger sell when it presents itself as for now if this setup gives a down move like this and it gives an up move and then this up move still continues up like that we'll just simply ignore it we'll ignore it then wait for other setups that can give us good entries this is nzdcd nzdcd from this point the down move was focused at and as you can see we got that down move and from this point price started to move up this past week we talked about the setup we say that there's a possibility this might be a bigger corrective structure than continuation down but for now we are releasing an update that there's also a possibility that this might give a correction like this then up like that so if you are still holding the cell just be careful because there's a possibility we might be pushing up like this all the way up to this point then from this point we can assess the setup again for now there's a possibility we might get this up move if this up move gives us a good entry and good risk to reward we can be trading this up move that's for nzdcd for now it shows up from this point after it gives this correction then there's this up move that's expected lastly we have euro aud for euro aud like we've always said we say that there's a big expected up move it might come now or it might come later but there's a big expected down move up move even if euro aud just moves like this there's an expected up move because structure is showing that there's an expected up move so we can wait for that then later trade it for now we can just focus on other pairs and then when this setup is ready we can be looking forward for an up move all the way up to this point that's for euro aud